As city buses return to Metro Manila's major roads today, the LTFRB is looking at the possible reopening of provincial bus routes very soon. JC Cosico joins us live from Mandaluyong to tell us more. JC, how's the discussion going on the reopening of provincial bus routes so far? Sean, the LTFRB says they are in talks with some LGUs and some uh, bus terminal operators regarding the possible reopening of provincial bus routes. But the proposal is getting a thumbs down from some provincial officials. The LTFRB disclosed that they are preparing for the possible reopening of provincial bus routes. But as early as now, some elected officials are already against this proposal. Case in point, LGUs in Central Luzon want to keep their borders closed. Uh, we already had a meeting with the uh, umbrella organization of the locally elected uh, officials. Uh, kung saan uh, a large majority of the provinces uh, are still not willing to open up their borders. In the meantime, city buses and train lights are now up and running again as Metro Manila and the provinces of Laguna, Rizal, Bulacan and Cavite shift back to general community quarantine. To date, the LTFRB has authorized over 3,000 public utility bus units to ply 31 routes in NCR and nearby provinces. The agency has also added more routes for UV Express and traditional jeepneys. The LTFRB is committed to continue to plan for more routes to be open in the coming days, if not weeks. At the end of the week, uh, we would be able to announce also another set of uh, routes to be open. Meanwhile, 18 train sets were dispatched in the MRT3 today. Regular disinfection is being conducted to avoid the spread of COVID-19. MRT employees wore PPEs and underwent COVID-19 testing before returning to work. Recall that MRT3 operations were halted last month amid rising number of infections among its employees. Sa ngayon po, uh, manageable na po ang ating COVID monitoring. No? Uh, marami na po ang nakarecover. Actually, sa MRT3 personnel po, saan po ang nakamonitor uh, na lang po sa atin uh, awaiting uh, re-swapping para po makabalik na sila sa uh, trabaho. While yung ating pong mga subcontractor ay mga around 60 plus na lang po ang uh, ang minomonitor namin. Apart from the regular thermal scanning and signing of health declaration forms, commuters are now also required to wear face shields as earlier ordered by the Transportation Department. Okay po siya, maganda. Yun nga lang po, mainit, pagka mainit and then nagmumoyse. Pero for sa kaligtasan, okay po siya. Face face lang po. Sean, the DOTR says they will strengthen their information campaign on this to remind commuters about the strict protocols implemented in PUDs. Back to you. All right, thank you for that update. JC Cosico joining us from Mandaluyong.